All right, guys, so the Suns announced today that they've signed Christian Yaros, defenseman, to a one-year, two-way deal worth 750000 yeah, 50, in the NHL and 250000 in the AHL. I think this is a, a great guy to keep around for the Suns. He's a young defenseman. He's more of a defensive defenseman than an offensive one, though, I would say for sure. And... In 2018-19, what really jumps out to me is that he played 61 games. He got one goal, nine assists for 10 points. Obviously, those point totals aren't great, but like I said, he's more of a defensive type of guy. He was minus 14 that year, but we have to remember that the Sens were one of the worst teams in the league. Or actually, in fact, they were the worst team in the league defensively that year. They had, they had 302 goals again, so... Um, they were the first team to give up more than 300 or more goals against in a single season since the 07 Philadelphia Flyers, I believe. Last year, he saw a lot less action. He had some injuries. He spent more time in Belleville. In the 18-19 season, I found the Sens had a very young back end. I think they did a good thing in getting more veterans this past season in the 19-20 campaign just to, to shore it up more. They, those guys have been there before. They have more experience. They're, they're, they're not going to crumble when things start getting hard. Not that those young guys really did crumble, but, you know, when things start getting hard on a young hockey player, sometimes they have a tendency to maybe panic a bit, whereas those veterans don't as much. So with the sense I found they, they maybe pushed some of those young defensemen in too early that year in the 18-19 season, like Yarosh, like Max Lajoie too. But those are good players, and thankfully they spent more time in Belleville this past season. I think that's really helpful for them, for their development, and in the long run they'll make them better players going forward. And Christian Yarosh is a really good player too, I think he can be, because he's six foot three, two 220 pounds, and he skates really well. And even though size is kind of going out of style in the NHL, if you can skate and you have size, I think that's a very valuable attribute to have. Obviously, I made a video not too long ago about physicality being a little overrated. But with that being said, you still need some of it in the game. And Yarosh definitely brings that. And he brings skating, too. So he's kind of like a hybrid, a, a hybrid, I should say, of the old school uh, with the physicality and the size and throwing the big body checks and stuff like that. But he's also a new school defenseman because he can skate well. He can retrieve the puck, move it out of the zone, get it to the forwards quickly. So Sens don't have to spend so much time in their own end. But guys, that's all I have to say on this signing here. I think it's a good one for the Sens, as I mentioned earlier. I mean, Yarosh gets to stay around. Um, I think he probably does earn a spot on their roster next year for sure. I, I would like to see him uh, earn it and get full, uh, stay there full-time with the Sens and not go back to Belleville. I think it's about time he cements himself as a full-time NHLer. I definitely can see that happening for him, and hopefully it does. But that's all, like I said, for now, guys. Please like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again soon.